Hi everyone, my name is Denise. I'm an environmental educator here at the Edinburgh Scenic Wetlands and World Birding Center. And for this video, I'm going to show you a really fun activity to help you learn about the rock cycle. The rock cycle is how the three different types of rocks form, which are sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous rocks. And we're going to make all three types of rocks using chocolate. For this activity, you will need chocolate, at least two different types of chocolate to see the differences in the rocks you will make. I will be using milk and white chocolate, some pieces of foil, a fork, and water. And kids, the water we will be using is hot, so make sure to have an adult help you handle it. And a microwave safe container. For this activity, our chocolate will represent rocks. And we are going to break our rocks down using the fork. Make sure your hands are clean, especially if you want to eat the rocks that you make. So this step actually represents erosion in the rock cycle. Erosion is simply the breaking down of rocks. Now that we have eroded our rocks, we now have our sediments. Sediments are broken down rocks. If you look at the rock cycle, weathering and erosion can happen to all the types of rocks, meaning our sediments can be made of sedimentary, metamorphic and igneous rocks. The next step is to add pressure to our sediments. We are going to do that by closing our foil and adding pressure in the sediments that are inside. This process is known as compaction, which means that through pressure, our sediments are sticking together to create sedimentary rocks. Now we have our sedimentary rock. We are going to create a foil boat. Make sure to create your foil boat where it can fit into the container you chose to place your hot water. And make sure no water can seep into it. Place your sedimentary rock into your foil boat and now place your foil boat into your hot water. Now wait for your sedimentary rock to partially melt. Do not let it melt completely. It looks like our rock is partially melted. So now we are going to place it back on a piece of foil and we are going to close the foil again and add more pressure. We are adding heat and pressure to create our metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rocks form through heat and pressure. Now we have our metamorphic rock. We are going to place our metamorphic rock back into our foil boat and we are going to place it back into our cup of hot water. And this time we're going to let our rock completely melt because we are creating magma. Magma is molten rock that exists within and under the Earth's crust. For magma to form, the rocks must be completely melted. It looks like our rock has completely melted. We are now going to carefully take it out and let it cool completely to form our igneous rock. Igneous rocks form when magma cools. 
When a volcano erupts, magma rises to the Earth's surface, which becomes lava. When lava cools, it creates igneous rocks. It looks like our rock has finished cooling. Now we have our igneous rock. Here are the three different types of rocks that you made. See how much they changed as they went through the rock cycle? If you would like, you can go ahead and eat the rocks that you just made, or you can erode them to start the rock cycle all over again. I hope you all enjoyed our video. And if you want to see more content like this video, go ahead and follow us on our Instagram and our Facebook. Or you can also take a look at our website. Bye everyone, thank you for watching.